Today, Michael Jordan at age 32 tries to accomplish what no one else truly has in team sports history. Michael Jordan has returned and he's wearing number 45. I knew my father would never see me playing another number and I felt it was a new beginning, so why not change it back to something that I had uh, played with when I first started in high school. No tap, run your basic, okay? If tap, run your center opposite. It was a very nervous experience for me uh, because I never thought I would be playing again. Jordan still looking for his first field goal, and there it is, Michael Jordan. It felt really good to be back out there on the basketball court and uh, with a different outlook about life and how life approach each and every day. I was making myself happy. You know, I was happy being there only because I chose to do so. There's Jordan going left to beat Scott. What a pass from Jordan. Bulls trail by one. Michael, oh well, yeah. Welcome back. Michael Jordan makes his return. Well, after saying, I'm back, in what would have been the greatest tweet of all time had we had Twitter. 20 years ago, Thursday, March 19th, Michael Jordan made a triumphant return from a uh, hiatus of uh, more than a year away from basketball. He, he went to go take on our good pal Reggie Miller, and, and of course his teammate Scotty Pippen was really excited about it back then, and now there is Twitter, and people are, are recalling it. There you Scotty go. Pippen Pip. tweeting out, oh man. Three more championships, that's what it led to. Oh. And then here is Reggie Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie knew he had to get some sleep. Hey, Reggie knew he had to get some sleep. Let's talk about your 95 Orlando Magic, who ultimately you'd, you'd go on to the NBA Finals. Mm -hmm. But you're in cruise control. You see Michael's out of the league. This is your year. Mm -hmm. What's your immediate gut reaction when you find out Michael is coming back with a few weeks to go in the season. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Can you play baseball a little bit longer? Can you stay there? Can you work on your batting swing? Right. Come back next year? Because we know what you can do when you come back. So when he came back, we're all like, oh, cool. here he comes. We know what he brings to the table. We know how good he is. And then the year started coming on. We're still winning. The playoffs come around. Obviously, we're going to win. But the story I've been saving for you guys when I heard of 20 years, Nick Anderson said 45 is not like 23. So we beat the, the Bulls that year, 4-2, go, go, go to win the finals, right? Summer, that summer, we're hanging out. We have the same age as David Falk. Jordan pulled him to the side and said, you know what? Wait till I see y'all this year. So he went on and worked on his body, came back, and they swept us the next year and went on to win three more championships. So Nick Anderson, you know I love you, but I had to tell that story. But right here, we're on fire right now. And so Jordan wasn't back long enough to what you call T Mac, those NBA legs. Yeah. So well, in this series, we were able to get him. And in in that series, he uh, created a crucial turnover, right, to, to cause them that series. So, in some some sense, Nick was right. The Forty five <laughs> wasn't twenty three, <laughs> but when twenty three came back, ooh wee, man, better than ever. Better than ever, and we were the first victims of that being swept for him you to felt go win it. three more in a row. You felt it. But hey, let's point out here, not only did you get Michael, but you got Reggie there too, because yes. Reggie's thinking, yes. this is my year. Yes, yeah. exactly. Great call. That's a great call, because going to that series, Reggie was rolling, I think averaging almost 30 points a game. The Davis twins down there doing what they're doing. It was their year. But Penny and you know Shaq was leading the way for us. You were filthy in that Eastern Conference Finals, though, hitting them from deep, huh? Hey, I always say it all the time, and you know this. When you play with great players like this, I want them to get tired because then they got to pass the ball to me. Got to give it to you. <laughs> well, um, you've had to guard Michael on occasion, but uh, the, the, the conversation we want to hear from you, which is incredibly ironic, is that you've always had this dream of playing baseball, and not too long ago you finally got to, to live it out playing a, a, an independent league with Roger Clemens' team in, in, in Texas. W did you get inspired by Michael? Is this something that you thought... I could, I could pursue because of some of what he did, even though it didn't work all that well. It didn't work all that well. No, for him. But, but, but what people don't know, Michael actually started to become a really good bas baseball player uh, mm -hmm. towards the end before he left. Uh, he got the hang of it. Um, but for for me, my motivation was just as a kid, I always loved the game of baseball. It's my first love, and. I played up until my junior year in high school. The reason I did pursue that because I transferred in high school my senior year and we didn't have a baseball team. 
but baseball was always my first love. And I always said if I had the opportunity to, to pursue that on a pro level, I was going to give it a shot. Um, I retired from basketball. Sugarland Skeeters was right up the street from my house, and they gave me an opportunity. It was I fulfilled the dream. So, uh, 20 years ago Thursday, Michael makes his return from baseball to basketball. Any type of announcement you want to make tonight? Say what? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. He's done. Stick with us. He's good. He's good. He's my, my body you. hurts so bad. <laughs> <laughs> them first two steps out of the bed, man, they're Achilles. Uh, it ain't the same no more. Yeah, no. You leave, leave them Achilles alone. <laughs> Trust me. Leave them alone. Wouldn't Nick, Ander <laughs> wouldn't Nick Anderson say? Uh, 45 is not like 23. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got, we felt that the next year. <laughs> <laughs> Michael got you. I still love you, Nick, but you shouldn't have said it. <laughs> we got plenty more coming up on this edition of Game Time.